Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to show you how to build this starter house, oak starter house, in your Minecraft world. So it's made out of mainly oak and spruce and a little bit of glass and stone and andesite, all really easy to find materials. So it's perfect for your starter world when you're just starting out. There's space underneath the house for you to have your animals breeding or for extra storage or growing crops, whatever it is you want to use this space underneath for. But it's pretty spacious for a starter house and then inside I'm not going to show you the actual tutorial of how to do the interior but just plenty of space for storage, your furnaces, crafting table, brewing stand, everything that you need, a bed and some extra decorations, there's more storage over here so this is just an example of how I would decorate the interior like I say I'm not going to show this in the tutorial but this just gives you an idea of how you can use the house in your own world. So let's get into the tutorial. So this is the dimensions of the house. So from this block to this block is 11 blocks. And then from this to this is 11 blocks as well. So you're going to want to do 11 by 11 square with another um, post. You're going to want to do an 11 by 11 square. This would be the front of the house. And there's also a second bit, which is there's a block of two spaces between these parts here. And then from here you're going to go up another three blocks on each of these posts so it's a height of four blocks in total so one two three one two three and one two three so now you've got this and now we're just going to join these all together using beams also using oak logs and then join these ones up as well and lastly just go along here the next step is to fill in all of the floor using spruce board planks And the next section we're going to work on is going to be this staircase here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is bring this up by one more and then go along, leave a space of three and then do another log facing upwards this way. And then we're going to get rid of this one and bring this one all the way down. So this is going to be the front of the staircase. Next we're going to come in front of this one and we're going to go up by four blocks. Is that four? One, two, three, four. Yep. And then one in front of this, we're going to go up by three, then we're going to go up by two, and then we're going to go up just by one. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So four here, three here, two here, and one here. Now I'm going to take some spruce stairs, and we're going to fill in the stairs just like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, two, three, and then we're gonna get rid of this and fill this in again with spruce planks. And then to finish this, we're just going to put a spruce slab on each one of these and the top as well. Next step, we're gonna build the main framework of the house itself. So if we go back to our oak logs, and with these, we're gonna go up by five on each corner. Five, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna join these up. Once you've done that, the next step is to come here and do another beam going upwards. And we're gonna swap this for one facing upwards. So all of the beams point upwards. And then just for now, we're gonna now fill in all of these empty spaces with spruce wood planks. We're gonna come back and do the windows and the doors and all of the details afterwards, but just to fill it in, just for now, we're gonna start by filling it all in with spruce. Except for we are just gonna leave the front door because that's the next bit we're gonna work on. So for the door, we're going to take some spruce stairs and place one here, one here upside down, another upside down stair here and another normal stair here. Then we're going to place the door here, inset by one, and then we're going to cover this up with spruce trapdoors. And then another trapdoor here and another trapdoor here. Now if we go inside, we're going to take spruce trapdoors and just fill in all of this bit here. Oh. 
Ich weiß. And close all of those doors. And then when you go from the outside, it looks like you've got one big spruce door. The next section we're going to work on is the roof. So we're going to do this before we do any of the windows. I just want to get the framework of the house done first of all. For the roof, if you just take a andesite stair and place it here, and then another one next to it so that it's sticking out by one. So it's sticking out by one and not in line with the house itself. And then come to the other side and place an upside down stair. And then a forward facing stair, upside down, forward facing, upside down, forward facing, upside down. And you're gonna do this step pattern until you reach the middle. Once you get to the middle, you're just gonna place an upside down stair facing forwards. And then if you come to this side and do the exact same thing, and then they should meet in the middle. And then for this top bit, if you just take an andesite slab and place that in the middle. So now we've done that for the front of the house, we're going to do the exact same thing on the back of the house. And then next, if you just now join along these two bits with more andesite stairs, do that on both sides. And then this is what you should have so far. Next step is to fill in all of the rest of the roof using stone brick stairs. Once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. And then the last step to finishing the roof is just taking these slabs and bringing them all the way along so that they join up on both sides. So that's the roof finished. Next step, we're gonna deal with this open space in the middle. So if we take so normal oak and then some stripped oak logs. What we're going to do here is just this striped Tudor pattern. So on the far left side, we're starting with the stripped oak. So that's just one there. And then next is the regular oak, stripped, regular, all the way to the top, stripped, regular, stripped, oh, regular, and stripped. So the house at the moment should be looking like this, and then we're going to go to the back of the house and do the exact same thing. Okay, so now we're going to work on the windows. So all you're going to need for this is some spruce wood stairs and some glass panes. So starting with this front window, we're going to get rid of all of these blocks that we placed and just leave this column and this column next to the two beams and then we're going to replace that with spruce stairs here and then upside down spruce stairs here and then just fill in the gap with glass panes and then for the windows on this side again we're going to punch out all of these blocks and just leave the column on the far side and replace it with stairs and upside down stairs and then glass panes same on this side let's get rid of these and then for the back of the house we're gonna leave these two alone and these two alone and we're only going to get rid of these blocks in the middle like this then we're going to place upside down stairs here and glass panes here. So next we're going to work on this front section of the house and adding some of the details like the porch and the flower boxes. So if you take an oak log and just bring this one up by one more and place a slab on the top and then we can join this all up with spruce fences. And then for the window boxes we're just going to place dirt along here, three of them, and then cover it up with trapdoors. And then you can just add any flowers of your choice to the front. Same along here, we're just going to fill that in with dirt, cover the front with trapdoors. 
Also remember to do the underneath, cover that with trapdoors, because if you're playing in survival then you're probably just going to... If you're playing in survival you're going to see that a lot, so make sure to cover this underside. And then on this side I like to put sweetberry bushes. Same on the back, I'm just using dirt and spruce trapdoors, spruce trapdoors along the underneath to cover that up. And then you can just add whatever flowers you like. And then on this side I've also done sweet berries. So I've done sweet berry bushes on the sides of the house and then red and white flowers on the front and the back. Next thing we're going to work on is some of these details like these beams here and this trim here just make the house look more three-dimensional. For this all you're going to need to start out with is some oak logs. I'm going to bring these up by two on every single beam around the outside of the house. So one, two, one, two, one, two here. One, two here, and here, one, two, and we're actually going to leave this one as it is, so it's just for these beams here. And then above that, you're going to place a stair on top, and then another lo oak log facing outwards this time with a button on the front of it. So, stair, log, button. Stair, log, button. Same here. And there we go. Then for this roof trim, we're going to place upside down stairs, every other one starting closest to the roof. Upside down stair, upside down stair, here and here. And then in the gaps, we're going to place a spruce slab on the top section. So it looks like this. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the back. So upside down stair, 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 stair and stir, slab, 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 slab. Next we're going to add some lighting to the house. So first of all if you just place two fence posts here and then a lantern at the bottom and then just a lantern on every corner of the roof on the front and the back of the house. So this is what you should have so far. So the house is nearly finished, we're just going to work on the underneath part where you're going to keep your crops or your storage or your animals, whatever it is you're going to use this for. So all you're going to do is place fences like this, one, two, and this middle one, if you just put a spruce fence gate. Then all you're going to need to do is just join up all of these sides with spruce fences. Make sure to put these spruce fences on the inside log not this outside bit and then i like to fill in this part as well with oak logs you could leave this open you could put something there some furnaces or possibly even another portal but personally i like to just fill it in and then if you are going to use this space for animals i like to make the ground look a bit dirty and muddy so if you just get rid of some of these grass blocks randomly and replace them with half blocks, podzol, whatever it is you have. I think podzol looks really good, but sometimes it's difficult to get early game if you haven't got silk touch. If you really wanted to use podzol and you didn't have silk touch, you could grow one of the tall spruce trees in this space before building the house. You wouldn't be able to mine it, but that would put Podzol in this area for you to work in. It's kind of a workaround for early game. You're also going to want to light this area up if you're going to be using this house in survival. So what I like to do for this is to dig two blocks down randomly, place a torch and then place some leaves over the top. So just do this randomly. There you go, so that's what it should be looking like. And then one more thing I like to do, one more thing I like to do if I am using this space for animals is to put a water trough here. It's completely pointless, it's not functional, it's just for decoration. But to do this, if you just place four trapdoors like this and then close them all, and then you can put water in here. So you've got a so you've got a water trough for your animals. Now you can fill the space with any animals you like.
And then the last thing we're going to do, just to finish the house off, is do a path leading up to the front of the house and add some flowers and stuff around. So to create this path, you're just going to need some path blocks, mossy cobblestone, pod salt and coarse dirt. And you're also going to need some bone mill just to scatter... Oh. You're also going to need some bone mill just to scatter some flowers around like I have randomly here. So what I like to do is just knock out some blocks like this to create a random shape just to start with and then replace these with the different blocks you're using. If I was doing this in survival I'd obviously use a shovel to create this initial pattern. When you're doing this don't overthink it too much just place the blocks randomly and then when you finish you should have a path that looks something like this you can kind of thin it out towards the end so it blends into the world more easily but however you do this there's no right or wrong way to do it and then the very last thing i like to do is just go around the path and all the way around the outside of the house with some bone mill and just Make it look a bit pretty with some flowers. I always get rid of the dandelions because I hate dandelions. I think they're disgusting. But just round like this. Make it random and then it looks more natural. Also add some rose bushes. Whatever it is you like. And there you go, that's the finished house. There you go that's the finished house i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to let me know what you thought in the comments below here's another one of my starter house designs i'll be posting a tutorial for this build later on in the week so make sure you're subscribed if you'd like to see that and i will hopefully see you soon bye bye